This may look like Batman's wallet, but this is the new Division wallet from Pioneer Carry. Keep watching. Thank you for joining us today. We're going to open up the Pioneer Carry Division Bifold Wallet. This is great packaging. Even the shipping package was good, as you can see here. This is what it came in. Great continuity in the design. So let's open this up. All right, so we've got the package here. Open, open. Continuing their theme, great presentation. We get into the wallet. This is a nice fabric pouch that comes in. And here is the wallet. Its color is onyx, which is basically black, and it is the only color it comes in right now. Let's get a closer look at this. Their crisscross pattern is what uh, is part of their brand and all their products. We open this up here. Some example cards. Okay. Close view of the stitching. You can notice it's a rollover stitch and all of this to pr protect the edges. Very nice. Now let's walk through the features of the Pioneer Carry Division Bifold Wallet. As you can see, it's a bifold, and with this, it has no features on the exterior of it. So we need to get inside, and we begin to see what we have. So immediately we see on both sides, we have one, two, three different card slots available to us, as well as a card slot behind each side. So that gives us eight card slots just here in the front before we move into the billfold area here, which is a full billfold area. There's no other features in here, which is fine. This is where you put your, your bills. And so it looks like we can definitely get at least eight cards, one per. And if you double that up, you're, of course, 16, which is quite a bit of capacity for a wallet like this. And we'll talk about the features of the fabric and the, the construction that they put into this as we talk about it further. But that is a feature review of Pioneer Carry Division Bifold Wallet. Now let's go through the card and cash insertion test. As demonstrated, I easily put eight cards, one per slot, plus five slips of cash. And I want to show that in here. As you can see here, and as we get up top, you can see that uh, there is adequate depth in the width of this to handle this uh, US cash. And I'm sure it could handle international currencies just fine as well and manage itself. And it all still managed to close. Uh, so it's really not a concern here. And if it doesn't, it has a break-in period. Over time, this will mold to the contents and its usage, usage patterns just like Leatherwood. Now the company says it can hold four to 12 cards plus cash. This material is what they call future form. It's a 10 XD ripstop fabric that operates feels and can be broken in like leather, but slimmer than leather and stronger than steel. The fabric is made from an ultra high molecular weight polyethylene yarn. It's waterproof, doesn't absorb moisture, and is washer safe. I was gonna say dishwasher safe, but you can put it in the clothes washer and it'll be fine. Uh, they've also reinforced these areas all around the interior exterior here to prevent and remove seams and it's designed in the United States and it's manufactured in Vietnam. Now the price is $89, which may seem to be in the high range, but we're okay as it's due to the materials and manufacturing techniques are very unique. And now speaking of manufacturing, they apply a heat fused membrane that gives this wallet its structure and leather like hand feel. At the core of the technology uh, is really the ability for it to break in like leather and mold and shape without breaking down or wearing out prematurely. Now regarding usability, it's not as rigid as the Matter version wallet uh, that Pioneer Carry has. That was very stiff. This one is a lot more pliable um, and it's easier to work with. It's easier to load up and the break-in period should be shorter. Now the wallet measures 4.33 inches by 3.54 inches by a half an inch thin. And this is a neat futuristic product. It has great texture and interest to it. It's a great wallet to talk about and fun to see how this operates over time. Now let's get through the final score. For quality of four, for price of three, features of three, usability of three, and perception of four. 
That gives us a final score of 35 out of 50 or 3.5 out of 5. Thanks for joining us as always. See if these other videos interest you here. And uh, we look forward to seeing you again. Thanks, bye.